Greek-inspired crispy phyllo tart with spinach, feta cheese and cheddar. Beautiful flavour, but dead, dead simple. For you to be able to do in under half an hour that looks like you've been cooking for hours. First job, pine nuts. 100 grams straight into your pan on a kind of medium-high heat. Toast them up. It just takes a minute. For the rest of the uh, pie filling, five eggs. 300 grams of feta cheese. I'm going to use 50 grams of cheddar cheese because it does give the whole dish a kind of really nice gooey ooziness. Season it up with pepper, a little bit of salt. We've got the feta in there, so go easy. You can see over here the nuts. They're pretty perfect now. So I'm just going to take them off the heat. And I'm using some nice flour and oregano. The normal stuff is fine too. Just give it a little scrunch. About a teaspoon of that goes in. Get a fork and roughly mix it up. Put these pine nuts straight in here. This can go back on the heat and then mix it up. And then straight on to the spinach. Put some olive oil, just a couple of tablespoons, in a pan. And it takes 40 seconds to wilt it down. A little bit of seasoning and 10 little rubs of nutmeg in there. Once it's wilted down a bit, have a little go at the other bag. It looks like it's too much for the pan, but it, it will totally wilt down. The zest of one lemon goes in. Just a little knob of butter. That's nice. Look, you completely wilted it down now. Get some greaseproof paper. Run it under a tap. Scrunch it up in a ball. Then you've got something that's really soft, like, more like a handkerchief. Work straight onto here, and then put a little olive oil. With this phyllo pastry, it's very thin. It doesn't need loads of cooking. Um, but, of course, the reason it's so damn brilliant is because it goes crispy. You want to create an area of pastry bigger than the pan, so you've got sides and a sort of a lid. So almost half as big as the pan again, and I'm going to cook it, by the way, in this pan. So I'm only using one pan to fry, one pan to cook in. I'm just going to lay this pastry in and around, put four sheets down, and then put a little olive oil. Pat it like this. I've got some nice sweet cayenne pepper here. And then repeat the layers. The quicker you are, the better. And we'll do about three, or maybe three and a half, four layers. So we've got the pastry. Get all of that spinach quickly into that egg mixture. You can give it a little wipe out if you want. Just bring the pan over here, pick up the greaseproof paper, and drag it over like that. And then you can push it in. And then with this spinach here, mix this up and just pour it in. Maybe a little extra cheese just on the top, like that. I want you to get the pastry and pull it back over itself. Ultimately, we're making a beautiful pie that would normally take certainly an hour to cook, and we're doing it in under half an hour, so we need to be clever. And what's lovely about this is even if you're a raving idiot like me, even if you do it badly and it tears or anything like that, it's, if it's wrong, it's right. Tear off this paper round here, and in the cooking, it will carry on protecting that pastry. We're going to put it on that high heat for about two minutes, just to get that pastry crisp. You can sort of see round here, you're just starting to get crispiness. Grab just a little bit of rosemary and put it around this lovely tart here. We're going to bang that in the oven for about 20 minutes. It's going to be good. It just comes off like that. It's beautiful. An epic, epic tart. Get yourself a nice big knife, stab it in there, take it to the table. The fact that as you cut it, it goes crunch, crunch, crunch. All your guests will be going absolutely mad. And that is a beautiful dish.